we sit around and look at data and, and we're like, I don't know what to do. Uh, if you work at a, at a company that is very risk averse, people are like, uh, I, I don't know what to do. And we're going to, we need to wait for more data. Like mm, while you wait for more data, your more agile competitors are going to run right past you. So if you can provide your data and your forecasts that you built with predictive analytics and information about your company and your customers, and hopefully you have all that laying around, you probably do somewhere. You can hand it to the tool and say, tell me what we should do. I did an example this morning. I was uh, just running a test. It was in our newsletter about whether I should run LinkedIn ads. So I provided a bunch of data and said, tell me go or no go. I've got 500 bucks. Should I buy LinkedIn ads? And the tool looked at uh, my forecast, looked at my data, looked at my past results and said, no, you shouldn't. It's going to be a waste of money for you. It ends analysis paralysis. For example, I took the Google Search Console forecast and said, okay, if you had to pick three pages to prioritize first, which three would they be? And it says, based on a combined analysis, these are the three pages you should go fix, right? Again, part of analysis paralysis is there's so much data. What do we do first? How do we make a decision? Ask the tool, hey, here's the criteria. Here's the data. What should I do first? And it will say, fix these three pages. I can't fix my entire website in one shot, but I sure as heck can fix three pages. Right? I can I can delegate it out maybe. I can hire an agency, but it's clear what my priorities are now that I've asked a tool to do that. 